Hey, how y'all doing? It's Cam, and it's been too long since we saw each other last, right? Um, if you're new to my channel, on here I do videos about everything. Um, I like to talk about stuff that most people don't like to talk about that are quote unquote Christian. And I say Christian because that means so many things now. I can't even keep up with what it really means. It changes every day. But the true meaning, of course, doesn't. Okay? I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm a follower of him heavily. Not perfect, but I believe. Um, I pray every day. I repent. I read my word. Um, I try to obey his commands like wholeheartedly. And when I don't, I feel bad. I'm convicted. And I'm pressed to repent. Um, you know, so yes, to me, that is why I call myself a Christian, okay? Not because I grew up in church, not because my grandmother made me go to church, not because she was a Christian, I'm a Christian, because I try to live as a Christian. And, um, yeah, so, anyway, I'm using this new webcam thing, so I don't know how this is going to go, but can y'all just rock with me for a minute? Alright, cool. Okay, so this particular video um, is the vision I had here recently, not too long ago. And what I'm going to do, because I wanted to take the time out to put the images to show you all what I saw. And I've come across a few things that actually proved my vision to be like fact. Um, so the confirmation, I wanted you all to see that too. So I was going to put something together and, you know, do all that. But then I was just like, you know what? I need to just go ahead and share this with them because I kept seeing stuff and my sister Christ kept saying stuff and she'll call and be like, oh, sis, listen, I got to tell you, remember the vision you had? Da, da, da. So it'll be something else that'll confirm it. And it's like, woo, da, 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 da. So I was like, okay, let me just do the video, share my vision. And um, what I'll do is I'll put up the link for everything um, that has come to me as confirmation. No, I didn't sit down and um, take my time and like look for it. I just kind of would rather pray on things and it just come to me. And um, yeah, so it just came to me. So I wasn't looking for it. That's how I knew I need to go ahead and do the video. Okay, y'all get me? Got me? Okay, cool. So it took like what? Two minutes for me to get to the vision. I know you're like, oh, she talked so much. Fast forward. Just fast forward me, okay? Ignore this part. Well, don't ignore this part because I'm going to tell you the vision. <laughs> um, in the vision, I was in the woods. And I made a note of it. See? Can y'all see this? I made a note on, what's the day? Um, June 15th, 1046. Like, as soon as I woke up. Okay. So, um, anyway, so I'm, that's why I'm looking down. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not leaving out anything important. Um, this, not just a dream, y'all. This was like something that I believe the Lord gave me to share with people. And, um, has, definitely has meaning. Um, I was in the woods with this guy, as I was saying. So just picture this. Just picture everything that I'm saying to you. Okay. And, um, this older white guy, probably like 40 something, and he's explaining to me how nature um, is crying out for God, so to speak, and for his return. And he's giving me understanding by using natural things. So if y'all could picture this, like he has this little instrument in his hand, it looks like, um, kind of looks like, um, what do you call it? A compass or something? And he holds it up, but it was a measuring. Um, it was able to measure certain things in the heavens. And as I'm saying this, what I'm going to do, because I don't want to be distracted from telling you the vision, is certain things coming to mind. Now, I do remember John saying something in the book of Revelation about measuring, uh, using a measuring tool. Um, when the angels were showing him certain things, and I want to say Daniel also, so I'm going to look up measuring tools in scripture, 
and I'm, what I'm going to do towards the end of the video or I'll go ahead and post this one and I'll go back later and edit it and add everything else that has come to me since sharing this with you okay all right no more interruptions here's the vision so in the vision uh, he holds up this measuring device and he's showing me um, the rate that the earth is rotating and he's using the distance from our galaxy and a few other galaxies um, to show me that measurement so to speak and um, so I'm noticing as he's showing it to me I'm noticing the rotation of the earth is skipping like it's rotating smoothly and then it skips and so I pointed out and there are other people outside with us in the woods and I really think this was a class so I don't know if the tribulation we were in a tribulation or was this right before the rapture but there were very big events happening on earth and all of God's true children and believers were getting the same messages from him okay so we all it was a gathering place for us to meet but this guy obviously had been appointed to show us and give us understanding of the things the dreams and the visions um, that we had been getting so I point out that I see the, the skips and and he says exactly and he says the earth is just like a vinyl record and he says you take the record player and when you put the record the vinyl record on the record player he says it's only until the pin on the needle touches the record that it plays music from the vibration and the frequency makes music he says, every time the earth rotates, it's making music. He said, and certain people will be attuned to what's going on in the heavens and will realize that, um, that the earth is making music. And he said, and some people may even hear this um, uh, as an audible sound. And as he's explaining it to me, um, he says to me, and he's showing me the record playing the record so I can really understand what he was explaining to me. So the record had a scratch on it. And when it got to this certain section on the record, it skipped. And I said, yeah, that's exactly what's happening with the earth. And he says, every time we have a major disaster, every time there's a huge earthquake or tsunami, it affects the rotation of the earth, which in effect has uh, a very big impact on the music the sound that the earth is making and he says God in the heavens is keeping account of all of this he's listening to this and he said these are the birth pains expressed in the Bible and he said that these birth pains um, are getting closer and closer together because the closer we get to the time that Jesus Christ returns, the more signs in the heavens we'll have, um, the more people will have experiences, some of the same experiences all across the world. And he said, these things, how, how can you deny these things? You know, um, he said, it's going to be just so apparent and so profound that even people that don't believe even people that are atheists will come to believe so as I'm listening to him explain this to me I say <laughs> in the dream of course I say um, I said to him oh wow I'm just like you know wow this makes perfect sense and um and so he begins showing me the distance between the moon and the stars and he's explaining to me how that changes the sound that the earth is making um, and these major catastrophic events are, are going to affect the whole universe okay um, so towards the end of this dream and I'm not sure what this part means but um, this older black lady in a wheelchair and she was like an amputee she had lost one leg and this part, God hasn't really shown me much yet as to what it means. But I'm going to give you what he gave to me, the meaning of this vision. Except for this part, because I'm not sure. Um, but she said to me, I need you to pray me out. 
And I said, what do you mean? And she says to me, well, um, I'm going to die. And um, she says, and I'm ready. I'm ready. I have peace. I've made peace with knowing that it's my time. And she said, at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'll be crossing over. I'm leaving this world to go to be with the Lord. And she says, and he's appointed you to pray me out. She says, I want you to pray me out. Y'all, I was just like, me? Out of all these people out here, why me? What about the guy who's out here teaching us? Like, you know, I'm making excuses, and she's just like, he appointed you to pray me out. It's weird. Like, you know, I'm against suicide, and I'm against um death and helping someone die. Like, I, I just felt like that's what I was doing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me crazy, okay? So I'm freaking out. And um, I mean, who who asks people that? I've never had anybody ask me that. That's not normal, you know? So, but I'm just like, hey, God told you to do this. And after what he just showed me, I, yes, I would pray for anybody who asked me to, okay? And so I began praying for her. And not too long later after that, um, I began saying to her, you shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. And, okay, so I wake up. As soon as I wake up, I get my phone and I write it down because I instantly realized I was supposed to tell y'all about this, right? So, okay, so I'm doing this, I'm writing it down, and, and it just comes to me um, that it's biblical. Those are the birth pains. The earth, you know, um, does cry out. Even in the word, it talks about the moans and groans. And it talks about the birth pains and how time is drawing near. So it occurs to me that last year, and you probably would see the video on my channel. I think I left it up, even though a lot of people said they couldn't really hear it. But we heard this really loud, I want to say a trumpet or a hum. And I ran outside to record it because I wanted y'all to hear it, of course. And my daughter, I was just like, can you hear it? And she's like, yeah, I hear it. And I was just like, is it a plane? She's like, no. She said, mama, I don't think that's a plane. I said, okay. I said, so I'm not tripping. She's like, no, I hear it too. So I think it was someone else over here. And I called them outside. And I said, do you hear it? And, you know, I didn't tell them what it was. It could have, I could have been hearing a cricket or whatever. But the, everybody knew what I was hearing because they heard it too. So I was like, okay, cool. I was like, I'm not crazy. Okay? Cool beans. So I recorded it. I uploaded it. So you can go check it out. If you can't hear it, put on some headphones maybe. It's a ve very loud hum or roar. The best way I can describe it, a, a horn or a trumpet is just that type of sound. Um, but it's so loud that it gives off the feeling and the vibrations of a jet. Okay? So, as I'm writing down my dream, I'm realizing that this makes sense. It wasn't me, um, eating too late at night and I had too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches while I'm asleep. Old folks used to tell us that. Did y'all family to tell y'all that? They used to tell me that if I ate peanut butter and jelly before I went to bed. I would have crazy dreams. Yep. So, anywho. <laughs> um, so, I realized, okay, yes, this is valid. I need to share this. A day later, I tell a friend of mine about it. And um, she's just instantly like, whoa, that was revelation, dude. You don't even realize how big that was. You know, you know, y'all know my girl E Essence Essence Rep. Yeah, y'all need to check out her vids. Check out her channel too. She support her channel. That's my girl. So that's my assistant. Christ, that's my ace boom. Ace boom. Coon. 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 I don't want to get in trouble like the um, lady did with the, with the cooking channel. But anyway, yeah. Okay. So anyway, she's all that. Check out her channel. But she was just like, yo, this is a revelation. You need to share this. You know, she was just like, I'm telling you, you need to share this with people. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to do the video. Leading up to me doing this video, um, I come across this video with this guy. His name is Louis 
J Gigolo or J Gagolo. I don't know, something like that. And um, I come across this video, and I'll I'll make sure I put the link up so y'all can check it out down below. And um, he says that the stars give off a sound, and that NASA has been recording. Okay, the sound. I think they're looking for aliens to contact us or something, but they ended up finding out that the whole universe sings and give praises to the Lord. Of course, they didn't say that part, but we know that that's what that is. So he goes on and he plays the sound of each star one by one that they've recorded. Then, without any editing, he goes back and he plays the stars all together. Then he says, okay, the whales, we know that the whales sing, and so he plays the sound of the whales singing. He plays the stars, then he goes back and plays the whales with the stars, okay? So this is just him combining different things in nature that make sound or sing. And the song that it sounded like, he slowed it down and it played exactly with the same beat as our God is an awesome God. How great. These are the words to the song. How great. Um, um, you know, um, so uh, yeah, so I'm going to put the link up. I don't want to try to sing it. Okay. But how funny is that? That the universe and that nature sing praises to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think that's very significant. I don't think that's a coincidence. Okay? And um, I just was flabbergasted and I cried. I like boo-hoo. Like, <laughs> that was a terrible face, huh? So, but yeah, I did all that. And if this video that I'm going to post a link to if you can't find it. Doesn't move you and make you cry. Something is terribly wrong. Like you're disconnected. You're not sensitive to the things of the Lord. Because instantly the spirit part of me, the Holy Spirit, recognized that as truth and as revelation. Just like the vision. And I cried, y'all. I cried. I mean... It was a cry that I felt cleansed me and renewed me. And I had been seeking God and seeking God. I was like, God, I just need deliverance. I just need an experience with you. And, you know, I don't know if you can relate to this, but I've been going through a lot. And so many people around me have been going through a lot. And there's just so much suffering everywhere I look. Okay. is something going on everywhere. In every family, there's someone diagnosed with cancer. There's someone dying of cancer or have died from cancer. Um, we're having people just drop dead in their 30s and 40s and even younger. It's just so much going on. And when you're really walking in the spirit, it weighs heavy on you. And, you know, praise lifts a, a spirit of heaviness. That's in the book of Psalms. So it, it makes sense that as this is happening and as the disaster and the devastation gets worse, that the earth is singing out to the Lord for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How awesome is that? I could not make this up. Okay, so I'm going to really trip y'all out. Will y'all watch the video? What I'm saying, if you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit says you don't need anyone to tell you the truth, that it will teach you the truth. And it also reminds you of the truth. It will connect inside of you and you will know that these words that I speak did not come from myself. I'm simply the vessel. I don't exalt myself at all because it's all him. But I felt so special that he would even just love me enough to share with me a secret of the universe. Knowledge that I never knew prior to that night. That's just so beautiful to me that our creator is our best friend and that he will whisper secrets in our ear because he knows 
that I mean we're just empty vessels waiting on him when you're walking in the spirit you know out of your belly, belly should flow rivers of living water yes but flow that means it's coming from somewhere and it's going somewhere else so he knows I'm not going to attain, attain all of this knowledge and keep it he knows I'm going to share it and um, and so it's just it's beautiful to me for him to remind me you know that he he does such sweet things like that where we're so undeserving like I don't deserve it I don't deserve it at all so if y'all desire him to speak to you in these ways just ask him just ask him and he will do it okay he is so faithful he is so the next day things kept happening from people I would talk to when they would call me or leave a comment or send me an email people I text and they would say girl yeah you was right uh, let me tell you about this commercial I saw and this, that, and the other. Like, that kept happening. So then I remember the dream I had with the spirals. There were three spirals in the in the sky, and the moon was not giving any light. If you haven't saw it, go back and check it out because I did record that one. And so it dawns on me. You need to start researching these last three visions you've had. First, I saw the six fallen stars. Then I saw the three spirals and the moon not giving any light anymore. Then I dreamed that the earth is singing praises to the Lord for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as the disaster and the destruction gets worse and as the birth pangs get closer, people are hearing this. And news stations all over the world have recorded this sound coming from the sky. So I am not crazy. But if you look at the date that I did the video, news stations were not talking about that so I you know find that to just be peculiar too so anyway so um, I start researching and I start with the spirals as I pull it pull up information on Google um, and I typed in spirals in scripture and you can try this and see what you find the first thing that came up I think was something called Reality 101 was the name of the site um, and I read it and it talks about how spirals are the base geometric shape of every living thing and it gave some examples and uh, as I'm reading this, it's making sense to me because if you look at your pupil, your eye, it's a spiral, which is pretty much circles inside a circle. Um, God talks about how he's a wheel inside of a wheel. Look at your fingerprint. Your fingerprint is a spiral. Um, I even watch plants grow, and as they grow, they spiral up towards the what? The light. Um, you look at water. When water whirls, it, it makes a spiral. All of these things were not apparent to me when I did the video, when I had the vision. This is stuff that came to me um, the days prior to me doing this video and after the vision. So I'm reading and he explains how in the beginning, um, that in Hebrew, Besiktek, I can't pronounce it correctly, but that's the Hebrew word. And they used in the beginning because that was the closest thing we had to translate this word into the Hebrew word that was used. Um, in the Bible, which translated to us as in the beginning. Okay, this particular word, when it is pronounced, the shape that it makes, and they do this by recording the vibrations and the frequencies, and you can even use water and use sound to see what shapes come up. And if you check on YouTube, so many videos doing it, it's called somatic, C Y M A T I C S. And so this word, the shape is guess what a spiral um he explained how galaxies when they're born they're shaped like what spirals remember I had the vision about the three spirals in the in the heaven but the moon wasn't given its light now um, that I look back to me that represents the Father the Son the Holy Spirit Okay, three, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity. 
Um, and it represents to me that we're in the beginning of something totally new. So as the world is ending as we know it, a new world is in the make of becoming. We're in the beginning of something totally new. The tribulation coming, all of that. There will be a new earth, okay? With the rapture coming, all of this makes sense. The moon was not given its light anymore. Um, within the next two or three years, we're going to have um, the blood moon. Um, we're going to have where the moon does not give any light at all, the eclipse, okay? You can research that and see that's accurate. Um, so after reading that, I get on down and he explains how um, you take um, the shape of a spiral which fits perfectly into a pyramid. And he was explaining when you shine light through it, all of the Hebrew alphabet show up. Okay? So you shine the light through the spiral inside of um, the triangle, I think he said. And all of the Hebrew alphabet show up in the from the light, the shadow, so to speak, from the light. He says, what kind of coincidence is that? That all the Hebrew alphabet show up there. So this spiral thing is so deep. God is so deep. He says the deep calls to the deep. Um, you know, the, the Holy Spirit it searches out the deep things of God. Um, it's just His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are above our thoughts. Like we can't even fathom His knowledge. He just shows us bits and pieces of it, and it blow our minds. And this just blew me away. And as I began to think as the days went on, more and more things that proved this spiral theory made it, you know, be a truth to me. Um, even with the DNA is a what? Spiral. Okay, double helix, but spiral. Um, so him showing me that in the galaxies and this guy finding out that the galaxies sing to the Lord, it all it connected all of my vision. And um, it's called the golden mean, or the golden mean ratio, or the golden mean spiral. Um, you know, all shapes have a number that correlates with it. If I'm not mistaken, it's 0 0.618, and um, and, or 0 0.617, but I think it's 0 0.618. And this number shows up uh, repetitively, and it's the only number that does, okay? So it's something called the golden mean ratio. That's what they named this spiral theory in finding this out about Genesis in the beginning. The Hebrew word for that, the C-Tech, or however you pronounce it, being shaped like a spiral. Um, they even use semantics when it's pronounced to see the shape. You know, you can't make that up. So the purpose of me saying all of this is, he's about to return. And the music that the earth is playing the man in the vision told me when the music stops, that is the day of the Lord's return. And I just thought that was so deep. He was just like, when the music stops, that is the day he shall return. And he says, we are near. The, this, the end of this song, our existence as we know it, is about to play out. Okay? Like, this is the end of it. Not a lot of time left. And I think that's why now my mind is more on um, saving people's souls, souls getting saved, um, helping people, doing everything I can to look like what a Christian should look like. Um, sometimes I find my mind being on that more than daily things that I feel like my mind should be on. Like, where am I going to work next? What am I going to be? What am I going to do? What school am I going to go to? Oh, what classes should I take? Oh, I want to be this. I want to try this. Like, I'm just not there anymore. My mind is not on that stuff. Um, and I thought something was wrong with me. I was just like, it's something wrong with me. Shouldn't I be so focused on this stuff like everybody else? But then I realized how in the cares of the world would steal the seed planted in people's hearts. And even the seed that fell on the footpath of where people walk will not take root. Um, but then you had other people receive the word with joy and it takes root 
but it's snatched away by the cares of the world. So I'm not crazy. You just have to have balance. Not being too far concerned with what's going on in the here and now and having true compassion and concern for the kingdom and people being saved. Um, I'm kind of trying to rush it because I can talk so long and it's been what, 30 minutes? Y'all been listening to me for 30 minutes? Wow. Okay. So check this out. Go back. Check out my visions if you didn't. Check out the golden mean ratio. Um, this ratio even makes faces beautiful. How far your eyes are from your nose and the spread of your mouth. <laughs> um, all of that. It like is is deep, okay? And all this was new to me. So I just find it amazing that if the earth, nature, and the universe and the galaxies are singing to the return of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, what are you doing if you're not? You know, we need to be focused on the right thing. And um, I thank you so much that you sat here for 30 minutes and listened to me. And I am not going to edit this and try to make it short. I might put a part one and part two, but that's it. So I'm sorry if you just want to fast forward through it. But this has meaning. And please leave comments. Let me know if you find something else that connects with that vision because I'm still learning. I Like, I'm nowhere near the end of it. And one last thing, scorpions. Scorpions have showed up in like two of my visions. They don't look anything like the ones we see now. These scorpions are much bigger um, and they almost look altered, like two or three insects mixed in one or something. But um, in my visions, I've been seeing these and it is biblical. Um, it's in Revelations and I will put that below there too. So any scriptures, the golden mean, um, nature singing praises to God. I'm going to put all of that at the end of the video. Or I'll just put it up under the video in the information section. All right. Thank y'all so much. Y'all been so patient. You sat here and you waited on me to finish. <laughs> okay. So, yes, leave your comments to let me know what else fits into the vision. Because, like I said, I'm still figuring it out. But that's deep. When the music stops, he's returning. And the song is almost played to the end. Whoa. All right. So, send me messages too, okay? I know it takes me forever to get back to you, but I am going through them. And forgive me if I don't get back to you soon enough. And anything I can do, please let me know. Even prayer for your family or you with something that's going on, just let me know. All right. Peace out. Bye.